Let's play deck. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Evil Within. Uh, <laughs> kind of fucked up last time. The chainsaw guy was not supposed to rip my head off, or whatever he did. I think he just tugged that thing through my torso. Torso. Um, things will hopefully. No, things will go differently this time. Fuck it. You're screwed, Chainsaw Guy. I don't care what you do. I don't know why you're not activating. Could you do that? What is stopping you? Is it... Did I... Am I doing something wrong? He's supposed to... He's supposed to... Um... He's supposed to break through once I get close enough. What are you doing, man? Wake up! I... I am entreating you. Please don't make me beg. Uh, okay. I guess not. Uh, I could just always activate him the old-fashioned way just by shooting him. <laughs> that usually gets him angry. I don't know if there's going to be a woman up here or not, but let's equip the pistol just in case. Don't think I'm going to be needing grenades for her. Yeah, there you are. Hello. Uh oh. I don't like it. I, I don't like you or your charging. God, that was terrible. Um. Of course, this mount. <laughs> More like my shitty aim. Just gets shittier. Is he not? I'm not getting this. Uh, okay. Did I hear something? No, I'm good. Let's just throw a bottle at him. Just to not, um... Not waste ammo on just friggin' activating him. Uh... Make sure to hit him. That should be not good. Ah, oh, you're gonna make me do this, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. I see what you're playing at. Now he suddenly decides to start revving up. Oh. Oh, am I hearing a lot of noises? And I don't like any of them. So let's chuck a grenade their way. And hopefully that works. Yes, it did. It did, but you can't really see it. Like, it doesn't show. Which is the problem with this guy, is he doesn't get stunned easily or consistently ever. Uh, which is a bit of a problem when he's so... Oh, is that it? Yeah, that is it. I am happy when he is so goddamn persistent. Uh, yeah, take your little Rubik beads and get out of here. <laughs> Guy's just like, whatever. I'll get you eventually. I better hold on to this. Teeth of this well-worn chainsaw are caked with all sorts of things, mostly blood, I would assume. Uh, but thanks for that obs observation, Sebastian. Um, are we gonna get? Are we gonna get any more items here? Or I think I think that's it. I think the enemies are are pretty much cleaned out too. Um, yeah, we got a chainsaw, but it's not a weapon. It's just a key item, unfortunately. God, that'd be awesome. But I feel like at the same time, I feel like. Especially in the context of this game where weapons are really slow and like, you know, clunky, which is on purpose. Um, yeah, the chainsaw would not be a good option at all. Like, Wait! Over here! Wait, uh, officer. You must take me with you. Detective Castellanos. Leslie should be just ahead. It is imperative that we find him. But yeah, there's chapter three. It's pretty short if you don't fuck up like I did. Uh, well, I did fuck up. Um, but 
Yeah, it was just that one area. Let's save. Because... I like that. I like that little safety net. But yeah, I feel like the chainsaw would just be... Kind of useless. Like, it would just be really slow. Kind of like that chainsaw guy is, like, never really hitting me, except very rarely. Um, although when, when you do land a hit, it, it should be like a one-hit kill. That'd be an awesome weapon. That'd be like, uh, that'd be like the the, what is it, the giant knife, or the big knife or something it's called in Silent Hill 2, where you can literally jack, um, uh, Pyramid Head's weapon and just use it, and it takes forever to, like, wind it up and, and swing it down, but once you do, if you actually hit any, any enemy in that game with it, as far as I know, uh, it's a one-hit kill for all of them. It's just that timing. Oh, the hospice. Yes. Leslie was being treated here years ago. He'd come here thinking it was familiar and safe. You know where we are? Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, you should too. I hope his brother's not in here. I don't know where you're going, Doc, but I'm staying here. Uh, in this area. He's gonna just rush back to me. Don't forget about me. Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing, man? Is it just me, or does that guy bear a, an uncanny resemblance to uh, Anthony Hopkins? I don't know. It's like they modeled his face after him or something. Like, I, I just get that vibe. Like, just the way his face is structured, the way it looks and everything. What am I looking at? Okay. Uh, we have learned nothing. Um... All right, then. Uh, what am I doing over here? Uh, I guess I just gotta go over here and spawn this man who happens to have, be the same every time. I wonder. Because I know he's gonna be a very specific type of zombie. I wonder if this will stun him enough to get a free kill. No, it does not. That is funny. Usually, you can... Uh, throw bottles at enemies and um and they will stop swinging for a second there we go and they will be stunned and you can like crouch and walk up to them and get like a quote unquote stealth stealth kill though it's not really stealth it'd just be like you know like a sneak kill and it's just like a free kill but oh damn it that's unfortunate. <laughs> I rarely ever fail those things. Maybe they're harder than I gave them credit for. Uh, I don't like any traps in this game. Really any game, but this one especially. Like, some of the timing is just insane. Like, I've seen videos of uh, people playing on the harder difficulties, and it doesn't get easier. Like, the, uh, the timing on the all the traps just gets tough. But Okay. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I remember I remember being startled. Was not going to forget that anytime soon. So, sorry you got me once, but that's that's all that's all you can that's all you can get from me game. Anyway, Anthony Hopkins is having a little trouble. There we go. His AI isn't the best. Like, he, uh... He doesn't do much for you. He's just kind of there as, like, a, um... Worthless partner? I'm not sure why he's around. Wish they could just, like, kind of hide him. And, uh, then he comes out at the end of the area or something. Like, he doesn't really serve much purpose. I guess for this one part, but we'll see. Uh, does this... Yeah, that does. That does. Uh, let's use a syringe. God damn, I gotta upgrade that syringe. Uh, potency. They got Norman. His cries for help. I don't know who Norman is. Just a random villager. Uh, I can hear screaming every night, but I don't stay hidden. I know I'll be next. I assume, I assume you were next, because there's nobody... There's no regular people around, so... Um, 
Yeah, sorry about that. You were just dusting off your coat. It's cool. Thanks for holding the fort for me while I checked out the other room. Uh, this area is considerably smaller than the last area, which is nice. Um, we are actually going to be moving to a different location fairly soon. Hopefully by the end of this episode. We'll see what we can do. Um, well, there's that. There's not many enemies around this area, but there is that. Okay, I'm coming in from a different... Alright, I uh, just gotta get my bearings here for a second. I remember there is one enemy. There's one enemy in this in this house. Or I guess two, but one regular enemy. Um, and hopefully I can catch him off guard here. But not before grabbing some extra goop, which is always nice. But this. This is what I wanted. Wow, he's... I never noticed that. He's wearing, like, uh, mental hospital garb. Well, you're gone anyway. <laughs> I think every time the enemy is slightly different. Like, he, uh, last time he wasn't even wearing uh, a shirt at all. Which was a little nasty. <laughs> Hide in the closet. Who does that? I guess somebody who's just really unseasoned with, like, horror games or, or survival horror games or just... Doesn't want to, like, deal with the stress or something? I don't know. Enemies can still spot you in there. Uh, like, it happens. Um, it's just part of the reason I don't trust those things entirely. Like, I'm never 100% sure that I'm safe, you know, in there. Can you shut up, man? <laughs> Not the, uh, the good doctor is here guy, but the Anthony Hopkins. Giving me a little trouble. You know what? I'm going to save that syringe because we've got a substantially... Or just a substantial encounter up here. And I prefer to, um... You know, save it just in case I get hit. Which is very possible. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, this part is, is dumb. It's me. The good doctor is here. This is my brother, Valerio. Leslie's original doc. Deal away. Yes, expose everything. Hey, what are you doing? He's getting ready to kill me, is what he's doing. Hopefully I can, yeah, land a hit on him first. Okay, good. Uh, you want to go down? You want to burn? Thank you, buddy. That is not disturbing at all. Um, not impossible. Clearly, uh, couldn't be Ruvik. Well, no, Ruvik is of a very different build and looks nothing like that guy. But whatever. Anyway. Press X to search. More like press X for jump scare is what that is, uh, eventually. Where do I gotta... Yeah. Just reach in there real smooth. What 
a dick. Like, like with the last ounce of life he had left, he chose to just freak you out for no reason. Like, ah, I'm scary, instead of, like, has any last words or, like, you know, being useful in any sort of way. But, all right. <laughs> you know that Valerio guy itching his skull to death uh, kind of reminds me of, um, this article I read in the New Yorker. Uh, in case you're wondering, this wasn't, I don't read the New Yorker, this was in, like, this is for, like, a psychology class or something, I don't, um, but yeah, apparently some, like, some chick actually, in real life, uh, had something, I'm not sure what you would call it, some sort of disorder, nervous, OCD, I don't know, but she just wouldn't stop itching. The article is called The Itch, if you want to look it up, it's pretty interesting, uh, and she had this itching problem she couldn't stop doing it and to the point where like she wasn't even aware of it half the time and she'd do it in her sleep and eventually she dug into her skull uh one night while sleeping and that came from outside that is just i like i it's so disturbing that that's not fiction that that actually happened Anyway, you are not going to get to that pyre. And... I am glad for having saved that woman. She's got to have something for me. Right? There's like, well, there's got, oh, well, she's gone. But she got, she brought some, she left some goop for me. So, you know. I didn't get to say anything to her, but you know I'm I'm fine with 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 what she's got. Uh, but yeah, I didn't actually know that. I didn't know you could um normally the dude normally I I would just let the dude uh drop her onto the the flames and she would just die and I thought it was a scripted thing, but you can actually interrupt it and get some rewards for it. I like that. It's not something you would you would think to do particularly. Um, at least I didn't, and it was it's pretty neat. Plus, the pigs are normal. It's the pigs and that one woman who just, you know, just takes off. Like, she just, she's just like, fuck this, I'm, I'm, I'm dissipating right now. Uh, I don't need any of this. Anyway. Yeah, I get it, Leslie. Uh, I'll follow you, I'll keep doing it, but just hang on. Just a second. Need to check out some things. Don't know. Oh, I guess this was the goop from the uh, that coast that just popped out. Forgot she dropped it. Any? Um, is there anything here? It's got to be something. Or nothing. Just a creepy scarecrow. And that guy. I'm sure if I like dropped him, he would come. He would stand up and. Attack me, but I don't think it'd be worth it. He'd probably drop some goop or something, but I don't... I don't want to deal with that shit. Um... So, I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, the, the journal's right there. Can't even enter the room. Uh... So, Myra was almost killed. Uh... Okay, it's just part of her job. Yeah, cops' lives are dangerous. Um... So there's some chemistry I'm sensing, and then he's gonna confess her his feelings for Myra, and then he's hoping to not get rejected, uh, which is normal. Um, it's nice to see that he's not just uh, admiring her ass for the sake of it, like he's actually interested in a relationship. Uh, nurse, where'd you go? Where are you going? Um, could you, oh, could you talk to me? Or just give me a, an update on what's going on in the world. Are you down here? Is that is that, is that what you're doing? Is this what is what is happening? I guess so. 
I'm gonna check it out. Hope you don't do anything to freak me out. I think she's just gonna turn around. Hey! Oh! Your clothes. Why, why are there, why are there handprints in what I assume is blood on your, on your clothing? <laughs> oh, so, so fucked up. Hello? Uh, I guess I'll look into this. Seems worth my while. Someone is clearly too fine. Like they can't handle how fine they are. Hey Leslie, you can stop freaking out now. You can you cannot, you know, turn your head extremely slowly towards me. Uh or okay. All right. Do take care of yourself. Okay, <laughs> take care of myself. How do you expect me to do that when you start pulling shit that just... Ugh. Missing patient. A caretaker. Worried sick. Psychiatric patient. Is that Leslie again? Physician. Oh, Valerio Jimenez says God's will. <laughs> huh. Maybe a Valerio was in on some of this stuff. So Valerio himself is missing, so perhaps not. Owner of the Elk River Hospice. So I guess the hospice was where we just were, even though it looked nothing like a hospice or nothing like a place any person would want to go to for any reason, <laughs> let alone a hospice. Um, but hey, there's there's d d goop. There's gel. Um, and there's the end of the episode. Uh, pretty much. I I will be back, and hopefully we can finish out the, uh... We're nearing the end of this village section, which is unfortunate. It's one of my favorite parts, but, um... Yeah, you gotta keep on moving. See you guys next time.